welcome back to my channel please this is not drawn to scale okay it's not drawn to scale and the question says that um the area of the inner uh, square is 144 square units the area of this triangle is 13 square units so we are asked to find the value of the area of this circle now this looks like an impossible situation but it is very possible we can find the value okay so um let's go ahead and do that welcome back to my channel so today we are asked to find this the area of this circle since we are given the area of this square let's start with the known then we move over to the unknown but before that let's add additional information to this let's call this point a point b point c point d point e point f and point g okay now area of a square is what length squared is length squared all right so if we call one part of this l it means that the area of this is 144 right is equal to length squared so we take square root of both sides we have square root of 144 is equal to square root of l squared so square root of 144 is plus or minus 12 but we are going to take the positive 12 because the length is something that we can see right so it cannot be negative so the length should be a positive number so it means that our l is 12. okay now i want us to i want to introduce us to a new formula yes if in a right angle triangle you have a circle inscribed inside it okay whereby this is c this is a and this is b okay the area the the radius of this circle sorry the radius is equal to a plus b minus c divided by two a plus b minus c divided by two please hit the subscription button and turn the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this channel give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing and like comment and share yes so that the algorithm will push the video to more students because they need to know this for their examinations okay thank you very much so you know that we are asked to find the area of this circle and we cannot find the area of the circle without the radius because area of a circle is pi r squared and pi is a constant so we only need to get the radius in order to find the area and we are going to make use of this okay so if we should label this triangle okay or let's say this triangle using this okay this side which is the short side is what a and the longer side is b right yeah okay now even though this is not drawn to scale when you draw this to scale you will notice that triangle gfe is equal to triangle ebd or b d e let me use this they are congruent okay and this is also congruent to triangle bc let's call this h bch this is also congruent to triangle a g h okay <coughs> excuse me we can try to prove this now see this is 90 degrees remember okay this is 90 degrees because this is a rectangle so definitely this is 90 degrees as well 
now if this is 90 degrees then the angle we have here and the angle we have here both of them must add up to 90 that means both of them are complementary if they are complementary now i want us to note that this place is 90 degrees as well right because this is another square this is another square and if that is true that means that this angle here this and this will add up to 90 because angle on a straight line is 180 so if we have removed 90 that means both of them are also complementary angles so if i call this angle p and call this angle m m is equal to p right okay now having said that the remaining angle should be equal to the remaining angle so that proves that these angles are what they are congruent also if you draw this to scale it's very obvious all of them are congruent now if they are congruent that means that all the areas are the same right so it means that the area of triangle agh is also 13 area of triangle hbc is also 13 and area of triangle ecd is also 13. now let's find the area of the rectangle abdf it will be equal to 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 which stands as 13 times 4 plus 144 so we have 3 times 4 is 12 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 okay so we are going to have 52 plus 144 so the area of the bigger rectangle then bigger square sorry will be 2 plus 4 is 6 5 plus 4 is 9 and 1 okay why do we need that remember that our intention is to get um remember that the radius you are looking for is a plus b minus c divided by 2. so how does this consign this okay now area of a square is length squared right and if this place is a because these triangles are congruent remember that this to this is b that means from f to e is also b right so it means that the length let me clean this so that it will be clearer so it means that the length of this bigger triangle is b plus a right so if b plus a is the length then this area area of triangle a b d f is also equal to a plus b squared since a b is the length right so having said that that means that this is equal to that so this implies that 196 is equal to a plus b squared so if we take square root of both sides so let's take square root of both sides square root of 196 is equal to square root of a plus b squared so this we remove this and we have a plus b is equal to now what is square root of 196 now we are going to do this using one of my math tricks okay so we need um, a number that each square will give us a number that ends with six what this means is that four squared is 16 it ends with six and um six squared is 36 this ends with six okay so it simply means that the answer to this we end with either four or six so let me clean to clean this so it means that square root of this we end with either four or six so we write them but you don't need to stress yourself and we cancel the last two digits what number squared will give us one that is one one squared is one okay it has to be one or something less than one but in this case it's just one and we have an exact number that will give us that so one squared is one 
so it means that the answer is either 14 or 16 so how do we know the exact answer after one we have two okay and two times one is two so we are going to compare if you compare what we have here which is one and what we got here which is two you can see that this is less than that and because it's less than we are going to pick the lesser number some of you may not understand what i did but i have a playlist just for masteries okay you can check it on this channel if i remember i'll add it to this point i'll add it as a card here okay so you go there and watch and understand fully how to find this without calculator so it means that this square root of 196 is 14. so we go ahead and write we go ahead and write that 14 is equal to a plus b now remember that the radius is a plus b minus c divided by 2. so a plus b is already 14 minus remember that our c is the hypotenuse right this is what we had then this is our circle this is c this is a this is b so our hypotenuse is c and we already got the hypotenuse as the length of the inner square which is 12. okay so this is 12 divided by 2 which will give us 2 divided by 2 which is 1. so it means that the radius of this circle is 1 now the area area of the circle is pi r squared so the area is pi multiplied by one squared so it means that area is pi square units thank you so much for watching i would love